Welcome to the Roosevelt Island Tramway. Now we took this many, many years ago. A long time ago. Yeah, and it connects the east side of Manhattan, uh, East 60th Street and 2nd Avenue to Roosevelt Island. So there's not many ways you can get over there. You can drive over, I think, on this bridge. I think so. And you can take the tram, and there's also a subway line. But we're gonna take the tram today. Right, Paul, we are going to take the lift up. It says tram. Or street level. Yeah. So we'll see what this is like. We'll probably get quite a good view over here too. Oh yeah, we just saw one leave. Yeah. So we're here during rush hour, morning rush, and there should be one every seven and a half minutes. Oh, that's good. So as one has just left, hopefully we won't have long to wait. There's various ways to pay. You can tap for the tram, as it says, using Omni, which is what we've been using uh, to get around the subway. You can use a, a credit card or debit card. So we're actually using our debit card on the Omni system, or you okay. can fill your Metro card. So we better, we better go through it. It's coming already. Let's see if this works. Yes, it does. I don't know if you say that a tram docks, but it's certainly coming in to to land. Oh, watch out, Birdie. There's birdies down there. Yeah, off they go. And it is rather full because, of course, it is rush hour right now. So there's quite a, well, a small crowd here. It's busier people getting off right now because it is rush hour. Oh, yeah. But heading this direction, we are going against the grain. And I suddenly just realized, of course, I'm scared of heights, so I shouldn't even be on this, but it's gonna be a strap hanger and just don't look down. It is rather spacious, isn't it, Paul? Not if there are 55 people on board. Oh, is that the maximum capacity? So. Ah, right. I think it, I think I read it somewhere. Oh right, and there's good advice here. Look, watch your step and do not lean on door because you don't want to fall out. People are rushing to get it. The doors must be due to close any moment. Yes, here they go, and we are off. Hold on tight. I don't mind the view at this point because we're quite low down. We're going down before we go up. Of course, it's like being on a boat. Okay, I can still just about look down, but we're going to be crossing the East River in a moment, so... But we're not going the whole way across because Roosevelt Island is in the middle of the mm -hmm. East River, isn't that right, Paul? In fact, I can see the island in front of us. Yeah, we are indeed coming down again. You can see the traffic on the bridge there. Over the water now. I have to say, it's a very smooth ride. Oh. Almost done. Okay. Ears are popping. Okay. You can see the sign there. Okay. 
We are getting into position, lining up with the door. Well, what did you think of that, Paul? Very, very smooth. It was smooth. And actually, I did manage to look down a little bit because you know what I'm like, mm. being scared of heights. So I think we're going to get quite a good view of the tram leaving again to go back to Manhattan. It's a far better view at this side than the other because there's no obstructions and we are literally right underneath the tram line. The doors have just closed, so I think it's about to set off. Yep, off it goes. Rising right above us. Wow, look at that. Gliding along, back to Manhattan. Well, I like this sign, R.I. So we have arrived at Roosevelt Island. I wonder do they have one of these on Rhode Island as well? At this point, you can see the two trams, so they're going to meet in the middle. Just there and, and there. And there they are just passing each other. So what can we see here, Paul? We've got the map of Roosevelt well, we Island. We are down here. So then I think we just walk up here and then let's go to some of these wee shops. And how big is the island? I think it's not that big. It doesn't give a scale here, does it? But, uh... oh, okay. So this is sort of a um, section that we're in here. Well, it says there's a little visitor center and a trolley kiosk, but it doesn't seem to be open today. Does it have opening times here? Ah, Monday and Wednesday to Sunday, 12 noon to 5 p.m. We are here in the morning, but let's see if we can have a quick look in. Oh, there's lots of like tramway memorabilia type stuff, souvenirs. Yeah, it looks like a nice little shop. Well, I can tell you what bridge that is, Paul, because it said it on the sign up there. It's the Queensborough Bridge. Oh, that makes sense. So shall we go and take a look at the river, first of all? The shops are this way. Yes, but there's something very important that I have to tell the viewers about, the East River. All right. Because this is where my ashes are going to be, what, sprinkled? Scattered? <laughs> Scattered. <laughs> when I'm dead. So, yeah, so this is where I'm going to be. What do you think about that, Paul? Okay. Well, that's what it says in my will at the minute. Maybe we might need to rewrite it. I don't know if I still want to be here. But actually, you know, if I'm overlooking Roosevelt Island and this lovely tramway, well, why not, right? I think we could head down there. You can just sort of walk along the grass, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to slip. Ooh. I've got quite good grip on my shoes because I have to wear special shoes now as well. I've got osteoarthritis in my big toe on my left foot. And you will hear more about that in one of our health episodes in the future. But look at that. That's the East River looking out over onto Manhattan and just up there you can just about make out the tip of the Chrysler building right yeah pretty spectacular 
It is a bit overcast today, but it doesn't matter. There's still quite the view, although it is a little bit muddy down here. Ooh, and you get another fantastic view of the tram from this spot as well. So they seem to have a different bus here on the island. There's this red one. Yeah. So that's not part of the MTA then, is it? It's I don't know. Yeah. Probably, yeah. It's strange though, isn't it? That they've got their own buses. But I did see an MTA bus as well. Q102. Now, oh. now, of course, we are on Roosevelt Island. But New York is made up of several islands, isn't it, Paul? Yeah. Oh, Staten Island and Manhattan, I guess. Yes, because a lot of people don't realise that Manhattan is an island. But there's others as well. There's Liberty Island, where you've got the Statue of Liberty. Yeah. And there's Governor's Island as well. Oh. Right, Paul, we are now at the Roosevelt Island subway station. And it was only a short walk from the tramway smells of gasoline in here anyway we've got this fabulous lit up map of the new york city subway so this is a good opportunity for you to show us where we are so then it goes to 63rd apparently so this is just like a shuttle oh i see so it's an it's the f shuttle that's weird yeah so it runs over to from queens, queens. 21st Street, Queens Bridge, then Roosevelt Island, and then to Hunter, 63rd? 60, oh, Lexington Avenue, 63rd Street. All right. Quite a view now of the Queensborough Bridge. And again, you can see the tram. Some things should really be set in stone, such as subscribing to our YouTube channel. It's Paul and Marcus. Well, we've just had a very nice pit stop at Starbucks to refuel use the loo and it's nice to see that they have got their christmas holiday cups out now Ooh. look squirrel oh there's three of them they're quite camouflaged aren't they there's probably more in the trees oh, this one's going up hello look <laughs> Oh, disappeared. Hello. So we're heading down onto Main Street on Roosevelt Island now. And the first building that we come across is the library. And it's part of the New York Public Library. There's some interesting information about Roosevelt Island on this plaque outside the library. Formerly known as Blackwell's Island, it was the site of the New York City Lunatic Asylum that was the basis for Nellie Bly's expose in 10 Days in a Madhouse, 1887. Charles Dickens also speaks of it in his American Notes, 1842. The island was also the site of a penitentiary mentioned in Horatio Alger's Ragged Dick, 1867. Stephen Crane's novelette, Maggie, A Girl of the Streets, 
1893, O. Henry's short story The Cop and the Anthem, 1904, and Eugene O'Neill's The Hairy Ape, 1922. Well, another one of their buses, surface transit, it says. I think this bus just runs along the island. Ah, right, okay. Now we've got a very interesting building over here. And there is a plaque. There is a bell. Ooh, a bell. Let's take a look at the bell. So it says West Troy, New York, 1888. Any idea of what this bell might be, Paul? It's not the Liberty Bell. Well, it says that this is the Chapel of the Good Shepherd. A registered landmark building designed by Frederick Clark Withers was donated by the Episcopal Mission Society by George Bliss in 1889. The New York State Urban Development Corporation acquired the building in 1969. Its restoration for use as a community ecumenical center was completed in 1975. Well, they do seem to have a pretty frequent bus service. Bread and Butter Market. Looks like a nice little grocer's or deli. Fresh food and coffee, I suppose. And paninis, bagel, breakfast wrap, gyro, protein shakes. Fresh burgers. I thought that this is mature juice. <laughs> <laughs> Natural juices. Wellness for lot. Yeah. And you can see a lot of it here, look. All the produce. Look how big. So this is a got pomegranate. Oh, it's right. Huge. That says palm on it as well. All right. Look at these. Um, Pineapples. Huge. And melons and then a grapefruit. It's honey. Our time on Roosevelt Island has come to an end. Oh, already? Yes, I know. But we've had a really nice time here. It actually feels that it's not part of New York. It's got a kind of like villagey type feel to it I suppose and maybe because it's got its own separate bus service it felt a little bit different it's, and it is very very self-contained it certainly is although I think they could do with a few more shops but it is a really really nice place I have to say and with the tram of course it makes it extra special Yes, it certainly does. And if you enjoyed our program today, why not hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already? And we also appreciate your likes and comments. So if you do want to see something or want to comment on this episode, leave it on the comments. And until next time, uh, ciao. Bye-bye. <laughs>